Have you ever checked your backyard? Well, try digging a bit. <laughs> Have you ever considered what the person that lived on the property did before you? Really, were they a little weird? Or were they an inventor, a mad scientist? Or did they like eating people's faces? <laughs> I don't know, everyone's into something. The point is, is that there are stories of people who have discovered amazing or weird things in their own backyard that they had no idea actually existed there. And some of those things weren't even human. Here are the 10 strangest things found buried in backyards. Number 10 are mastodon bones. While excavating a pond in his backyard just outside of Olivet, Michigan in early January of 2015, contractor Daniel LaPointe Jr. and Eric Witzka, the property's owner, were stunned when their digging tools pulled up a giant gray bone. Carefully searching the ground around it over the next four days, the two men uncovered a total of 42 bones belonging to a giant animal. An expert from the University of Michigan's Museum of paleontology revealed that they belong to a mastodon, a distant relative of the modern day elephant that died over 10,000 years prior. For over a million years, these primitive beasts roamed the lands of North and Central America until finally becoming extinct after the most recent ice age. They were quite literally in our backyards. Poor Snuffleupagus, what a way to go. Number nine are church bells. In 2013, a man living in the Czech Republic was excavating his backyard while in the process of modernizing his house's plumbing systems. Shortly after breaking ground, the man found two large metallic objects shallowly buried under the topsoil. Carefully digging them out, he soon discovered that they were actually a pair of large old church bells. Both of the bells were 400 years old, but had only been buried for around a decade. After some investigating, it was determined that they were stolen by thieves from another local church 11 years prior to their discovery and were hidden there, no doubt to be dug up and sold at a later time, at which for some reason never came. A leading theory is that the thieves hid the bells so well that they couldn't relocate them afterwards. Folks, don't steal things, but if you do, also don't lose them. Just, what's the point then? Number eight is a 650 year old treasure. In 2007, a man in Austria identified only as Andreas K was digging around in his backyard when he uncovered what can only be described as a real life buried treasure. The discovery included 200 rings, ornate belt buckles, brooches, ornaments, and a large number of other jewelry pieces, all of which had been buried for over 650 years. Not knowing the gold mine he had found, Andreas stashed the treasure in his Basement and almost forgot about it until it was rediscovered two years later while he was moving out. It was then that Andreas posted pictures of his findings online, after which he was contacted by collectors that let him know just how valuable his treasure could be. Experts claimed the find was possibly the most significant discovery of medieval treasure in Austria's history, and it was found accidentally. Does that make him a pirate? Because I'm telling you right now, if I found this stuff, I'd be posting it all all over Instagram being like, yar, pirate mad, Arr. Number seven are grenades and TNT. We don't always know the dangers around us. In fact, it could be lurking nearby, ready to end our lives in our own backyards. Or even a YouTube video. <laughs> well, that danger may have just been the case in May of 2013, when an unidentified 29-year-old man was in his own backyard in the Czech Republic. He was attempting to remove some trees and stumps in order to make his property look better, but ended up accidentally stumbling upon the scare of his life. Upon digging some roots up, he discovered something insanely dangerous, a hand grenade. After the police were called in, as they definitely should have been, they uncovered dozens of similar grenades and a number of TNT explosives. Experts who examined them said that they dated back to the Second World War. If handled incorrectly, their discovery could have been much more than devastating to the man and the people living around him. In other words, boom bang, you dead. Number six are gold coins. 
In 2013, a couple were walking their dog in a large backyard in Gold County, Nevada, when one of them spotted the top of a rusted canister sticking out of the ground nearby. Digging it up, they were shocked to find it was full of 19th century gold coins dating all the way back to between 1847 and 1894. The couple who remained unidentified due to fears of having their fortune stolen, which is completely understandable, found more than seven cans in the same area, each containing more valuables. Of the 1,427 coins that were found, Four of them were $5 coins, 50 of them were $10 coins, and 1,373 of them were $20 coins. With inflation, these coins are valued at over $10 million. Wow, that's, that's more than lucky you wanna share? It's believed that the couple's find is the largest amount of gold coins ever discovered in the US. Seriously though, just like pop one of those gold coins over to me, you know what I'm saying? We'll be friends, gold coin friends, okay. Number five is a fallout shelter. Shortly after buying their Woodland Hills, California home in the spring of 2013, Chris and Colleen Okasik opened the strange metal door in their back garden. Instead of a simple hole that they suspected it to be, the couple found a fully stocked 1960s bomb shelter. Built by a nuclear engineer named Alvin Kaufman in 1961, the subterranean refuge was situated 4.6 meters underground. Inside of its walls, they discovered coffee, champagne, Dixie cups, Kleenex, personal hygiene products, vintage packaging, and an assortment of fashion choices. Right, because if a new kits, you want to be fashionable underground. The shelter also had a large number of board games and over a dozen copies of analog science fiction magazine to be played and read when the bunker's inhabitants got bored. Still, this is a troubling reminder of a darker time, but at least they had fashion. Mm -hmm. Number four is a Ferrari. Oh, yeah, the, that kind of Ferrari. In 1978, two boys were digging around the backyard of their family's new home in Los Angeles, California, when they found a very large piece of metal. It wasn't long before the family realized what was buried there was actually a 1974 Ferrari Dino 246 GTS. Research revealed that the car had been buried there after the original owner had hired criminals to put it in the ocean so he could collect the insurance money. Instead, the crooks kept it and buried it with the intention that they'd retrieve it and sell it at a later date, only to have it stun this family. And this was not the only Ferrari to be buried either, as in May of 1977, Sandra Elin West, a 37-year-old widow of a Texas oil man, was seated at the wheel of her 1964 Ferrari 330 America before it was lowered down into a concrete mausoleum. Man, you gotta be a big car fan to be buried in one. That'd be creepy. Things eating your face and stuff, but the, at least the car's nice. Number three is a Roman villa. When the Irwin family decided to renovate their barn in Wiltshire, England into a ping pong room, they dug a ditch to lay wiring to it and found an intricate network of red, white, and blue mosaic tile. Further investigation revealed the property had concealed beneath it one of the largest and most well-preserved Roman villas ever found in the United Kingdom. The villa is believed to have been between 20 and 25 rooms when it was inhabited prior to its eventual collapse and dates back between 175 and 220 AD. In addition to the flooring, coins, jewelry, and even a child's coffin were found buried there on the Irwin's property. Researchers also uncovered the remains of timber buildings constructed within the ruins from a villa after the Roman era. Number two is $150,000 in cursed cash. In August of 2011, a 49-year-old carpenter named Wayne Sabage was in his backyard in Johnsburg, Illinois, picking broccoli from his private collection when he discovered a nylon bag buried just under the topsoil. Investigating further, he opened a bag to find, um, $150,000 in cashola. Unfortunately for Sabage, it wouldn't be long before others began realizing that the cash was actually cursed. Sabage turned the large amount of money over 
over to the authorities, who informed him that he would be able to keep it all if it went unclaimed. Well, yeah, if it's buried and it's been there for a long time, I mean, of course. However, just two years later, and just 10 days before he was to receive the riches that he discovered in his own garden, he suddenly died due to complications with diabetes, a victim of the money's curse. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, you just wanna pass that money my way, cause like, I'll just spend a little bit at a time, little curses here and there, I can deal with that. And number one is a 1700 cemetery. In late 2011, Vincent Marcello was digging a plot for a swimming pool in his backyard in the French district of New Orleans, USA, when he discovered a casket containing human remains. After excavating the yard, 13 coffins were found in total, stacked one on top of each other. It turns out his yard used to be St. Peter's Cemetery in the 1700s, but it was closed and simply left for terrified people to accidentally find. According to Ryan Gray, an art Archaeologists from the University of New Orleans, St. Peter's became so overcrowded with bodies that it was almost impossible to dig a new grave without accidentally exposing a previous one, so it was moved. Unfortunately, the poorer families couldn't afford to move their loved ones, so they remain in the backyards of people like his. For anyone to find, maybe even you. <laughs>